So hello guys, welcome to Java JSON and in this video we are going to uh, see like how we can create a multi-thread in Java. Okay, so I'm going to create a multiple thread and we can execute simultaneously. Okay, so quickly let me create one more class and as of now we have understood how to create a thread with the help of the runnable or how we can create a thread with the help of the thread class. Okay, so those things it's already clear. So let's go and create our own thread class. So I will give the name called my thread okay and uh, this class i will give the name and this thing like the uh, type already exist okay my thread is already yes maybe my thread one so my thread class i will write my thread class so my thread class i have created previously also i have created the my thread class so that's why i have given the my thread class like name okay and let me create the main method so this is executed by the main thread okay we can say we can see each and every thread also and uh, inside this thread i'm going to implement otherwise i can extend the thread class okay thread class that is uh, super good okay and uh, meanwhile i will override the methods of runnable so i have to write uh, public void run methods okay and for this methods i have to write at the rate override okay so it's overrided by the thread class so in thread class this method is already implemented but so we are overriding for our my class my thread class okay and uh, inside this thread class i will write one simple logic okay what is the logic i'm going to write is i will write uh, thread okay and uh, then after i will write something plus and uh, thread class having a something like uh, get current thread so i will get current thread and the current thread uh, we can get the id or we can get the name also so let me get the id first okay and uh, plus we can concatenate with uh, so this is the id so i will give here thread id okay thread id okay thread id and then i will give here separated with comma thread name okay so name of the thread i will print okay and here i will give a uh, thread okay whatever the threads we have it's running so thread dot current thread okay and then after i will get uh, name i will call the get name so it will give me the thread name okay whoever the thread is calling this method those will give the information all those things so i have written thread dot get current thread dot get name plus i will write uh, this thread is running okay so this is the things i have written and it's running right now okay now inside the main method let me break this one so that you can understood in better way okay let me give plus okay so this is something like that okay let me go back first okay and here i will write uh, something okay so get name i will break it okay get name so here we have written the sum of the code for the run method so whenever this run will call and this run method will call by the some particular thread only so that time this will execute so through that i am reading this value thread dot get thread name and id and thread dot get uh, thread uh, name which is uh, we are getting the name here i will create one thread with the help of my thread class okay so i will write here my threads class okay so my thread equal to new my thread class okay and uh, then after we can create the object with that and uh, let me before going to creating the object i have to create multiple threads so let me write one loop okay and uh, inside the loop only i will start my creating a thread with i equal to one and i less than equal to n n which is 10 we can take and i plus plus okay so that much uh, number of the threads i'm going to create which is 10 threads i'm going to create i'm going to create 10 threads <coughs> 10 thread i am going to create okay and here i will write those code so i have created the thread and then after i will call my thread dot start methods 
and it will execute 10 times and 10 times different different thread will be created and when i call the start method internally it will call the run method so we can see whatever the thread id thread name it will generate it and we can see okay let me run once so that we can see the output okay so our uh, our uh, project is running okay so this is the thread and id is 14 so it's started with the uh, thread which is 14 of uh, 16 15 23 19 22 21 this is not in the serial numbers but zigzag it is coming and this is the thread name which is uh, 0 2 1 5 like that is coming so this is the default thread name it will maintain internally and this is the default thread id it's maintained internally we can put our own id also that is possible okay and this is our message which we have printed running running okay understood if you add some sleep methods before going to the next step so here you can write some sleep okay you can write here also or you can write here also whenever it's required you can write here so you can start this one and you can sleep you can write here sleep before once it receives of the start so i will write one thread dot sleep so once you sleep like for the one second i will write 100 millisecond is equal to one second it will throw one exception so i will surround it with the try and catch otherwise you can throw the interrupted exception that is also fine okay and now let me run this code okay once i run this code you can see okay this is going one by one so thread 14 thread 15 16 20 22 like that is going on going on okay so our 10 thread will be doing the work simultaneously at the same time okay and we have uh, written like uh, sleep also so it's waiting for one second to execute uh, some other thread okay if you want to see whatever the threads we are using so you can run your project with the help of uh, debugger so once you run the debuggers you can see here main thread is started okay inside the main thread only you can see all those threads okay okay the problem is like uh, the thread is started and it says stop again so let me do one thing i will put one debugger here and then let me run okay so i have uh, like created the thread inside the for loop so it's destroying also so let me run once again so you can see here our main thread is started okay and then after second thread third uh, second thread third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine so nine thread is started at the same time okay if you see here all those threads are started if you go one by one okay if you see one is executed and destroyed okay other one is uh, now you can see second one is running and destroy third one you can see so like that it will run okay so this is the behavior of the thread okay i hope you understood guys so we can uh, learn in the next video some of the priority things okay thank you so much